Hello everybody, welcome back to the Chance Davis Road to the Show Series on MLB 21 PS5 Episode 91. If you haven't seen the last one, I recommend you go check that out. Um, I'm going to spoil it in a second, but uh, we'll check out the offseason stuff at the end of the year. But we're not done yet. We have some playoff action here. And I'm going to spoil it now. We choked our minds off. Like, we just blew it. We won the first game against Minnesota. Chance went the next game, gave up one run. We ended up losing 2-0. And then our offense couldn't score again. We lose one to six. Houston forces a playoff, a one-game play-in for the the number one seed, and we lose only scoring one run against Trevor Richards. I mean, like, we we got eight hits and didn't score any of them. It was very frustrating. So now we have to go back and play Minnesota and Noah Syndergaard, who we just lost to. Chances on the mound versus Noah Syndergaard. We will check out this Twins lineup. And they have Manuel Margot, Robert Poisson, Luis Arias, Miguel Sano, Anthony Santander, Kike Hernandez, Mitch Garver, Kyle Schwarber, and Brandon Drew. We've got to win this if we want to try uh, to go face the Houston Astros in the ALDS so, uh, without further ado, let's just do this thing. We're going to be watching the whole game. There, That's our lineup on the right. Trey Turner, David Wiseman, Aaron Judge, Chapman, Alex Dickerson, Kep, uh, Ramon Laureano, Austin Allen, and then Adam Frazier. We have him in the lineup. We have him in pitcher. This should be a win. Um, don't pay attention to that 82. I've got everything right. Uh, we're going to wear our alternate threes. Uh, let's do this thing. Minus 50% confidence strain. We have friends all across the field. Max with Austin Allen and Adam Frazier. 2023 postseason. Here we go. It's the one game American League. It's a big deal here. We need to win this. And if we face Houston, that will be quite the series. Chance will only get to throw one game in that, most likely. Uh, I say most likely he could not throw it all, but we'll see. I think he should throw game three regardless. Oh, man. At least we're at home. Nine titles for Oakland, looking for our attempt. I don't even know who that is. I'm a left. It is going to be a pitching duel today. Let's do this thing. Chance Davis on the mound. 33 starts, a 24 and 3 record. He is the Cy Young MVP. He's all we needed. Uh, he's a big part of why we're in the playoffs right now. Without him, we're probably not in it. Manuel Margot steps up to the plate. Here we go. We've got playoff baseball here on the channel. Let's do this thing. And the sinker is in there. Strike one. Marco drives deep left center. It is off the top of the wall. Not a hot start for Chance. Manuel Marco drives that. Fastball catches a lot of plate. Marco drives and Robert Poisson will step up. He ropes one foul. The ground, let it go foul, let it go foul. It is foul. Right, we have a good chance to strike out here. Could he use it? Got him. Good change up. Pulled the string on him. One down here. So, 
We have to face Luis Arise here. Who goes into right. Will Man Walmart go go. The cannon by Judge would have easily got him. It's another hit. And we're cornered up. That's a tough pitch to hit, man. Sano takes that one. And we get him with a slider. So 0 2, a strikeout will be huge here. Can't blow it by him. 99 on the gun there. And we got him. Yes, we did. Yes, he did. Sano strikes out. Second K of the day for Chance, and he might pull a Houdini act here. One more out to go. So Anthony Santander steps up, and he flies it out to left center. Pretty deep, but a Dickerson is there, and Chance works his way out of it. Two strikeouts, two hits, but no runs for the Twins. And now let's see what the A's offense can do. We're watching them today. It's going to be a lengthy episode. Syndergaard is such a problem. Trey Turner right at third base. So one down quickly. Gotta work Syndergaard's pitch count. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Wiseman hits it a long ways, but it is foul. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do. You like to see we're making good contact off of him. The problem is getting Syndergaard out of this game. We do not want to see him for more than six innings. Not to say we can't score off of him, but... Wiseman hits another one well. It is foul. Will it be caught? It will. What a play out and left by Kyle Schwarber. Two down. And Aaron Judge steps up. He steps up. He had a great season. Was injured for a large portion of it, and those stats show you how valuable he is. Syndergaard 2021 or Judge is a 2021 Gold Glove award, and he is a Silver Slugger. He has a Silver Slugger. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, that misses. Chapman on deck. He's got a good swing. He had a good ear. Pitch to judge is low. So we have a 3 1 count. He's doing that. 3 1 to judge. And it's fouled off. So, 3-2 here. At the end of the first, Syndergaard throws and fans judge. And nobody can put anything on the board in the first couple, in the first inning. So into the second we go. Hernandez, Garver, and Schwarber do up. It is Kike Hernandez playing third base. Changeup hits its spot. Hernandez takes the sinker. Changeup won't get him to chase. Got him up top, 100 miles per hour from Chance. Third K of the day. So strong throwing the ball. Garver takes the slider. 
that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good that is that fouled off. One, two. No score here as we play inning number two. Change up. Got the catcher. We've got two down early. Fourth K of the day for Chance. That's where he gets his outs. Strikeouts are his main method. Getting outs in that 96-mile-per-hour sinker. It's called inside. It was clearly a strike, but hindsight is 20-20. Popped up into left center. Alex Dickerson is there. One, two, three. Go the Twins. Good inning of work for Chance. So Matt Chapman steps up, former Gold Glover, and he had a good season at the plate this year. He also was hurt for a good portion. O2 quickly. Need to see a swing here, Chap. Inside. One, two. Great pitch right there on Owen two. Purpose pitch, right? Running that ball in off the plate. Now that Chapman gets a good piece of it, but Manuel Margot on the edge of the track will put him away. We are definitely hitting Cindergard harder than I thought we would, but not a single hit yet. Alex Dickerson steps up here to face the righty. Pitch is taken. Wanted to pull the trigger, but decided to hold back. 0-1. Strong shift on Dickerson. The pitch is roped. Foul. This offense has been ice cold as of late. Takes ball one. One, two. Inside, two, two. Two, two, one down, and the pitch is fouled off. Kepler is on deck. He's got some power versus righties. Low, and it's 3-2. So Max Kepler waits on deck. Let's see if we can get one on for him. Answer is yes. That ball's roped. It's actually out of here. Alex Dickerson with a line drive homer out to right. 106 off the bat. The hardest ball he's probably hit in his career is a huge one. So that's already more than we did against Max Kepler, or against Noah Syndergaard. The last time we faced him, yes sir, it is 1-0 Oakland. Just not a great pitch. He's got a great swing on it. So Syndergaard gives up a homer to Dickerson and Max Kepler steps up. He will take a curveball in the zone. Loriano waits on deck. We're pretty strong throughout the entire lineup, I'd say. That is one uh, major plus for this team. Kepler. Cue balls it off to the third base side, and it's 1-2. Pitch is called strike three. Syndergaard fights back and responds with a good at bat here. Let's see where this pitch was. Wow, really good spot for that fastball. And there's two down here. Oriano steps up. 
He takes a strike. Austin Allen waits on deck. Now, he is not the greatest hitter, then Adam Frazier isn't that great either. Let's say our 1 through 7 is very strong. Loriano was hurt for a portion of the year. Still played very well, and he will go down on strikes. So, Syndergaard gives up a long ball to Alex Dickerson, but responds well after that. Oakland leads 1-0 after 2. So it's 9-2, or 9-1-2 due up. That misses, apparently. Good change. Drury fouls off the 99 mile per hour fastball. It's 1-2. Way low. Backdoor slider. Outside in a full count, three and two. Just doesn't cut it off. Sorry if you hear construction and whatnot going on. Drury, three, two. Takes ball four. What an eye. It'll be Manuel Margot who doubled last time up. Fouls off sinker. Only 92. Good change up. Not good accuracy on that one. He will go. And it got too far away from Allen and he will get second. It's a wild pitch. God, Margot up top. So, one down here. Five strikeouts for chance. Blew it by him, and now Poisson steps up. He struck out last time, the former A's prospect. Good changeup. Twelve six outside. That is blooped. And we will get the out at first in a tough play there. Two down, runner moves to third. Yeah, that was quite the broken bat. Nice play by chance to get the out. And now we face Luis Arias, who is one for one. He bloops it into a short left, and Trey Turner uses that speed to track it down. So, leadoff walk won't score. And the Twins are scoreless through their first three frames. Let's see if the A's can get anything going as Austin Allen leads us off. Quick to swing there. And yeah, that has to be inside, I guess. 1-1. One, one. And he did go, so it's a 1-2 count. Send a guard up at 33 pitches. It's not too high. It's not too low. Ball two. Pretty strong shift on Austin Allen. And that will get behind Garver. It's 3-2. Leadoff walk would be nice. And Allen is working him. Still full. The 3-2 to the catcher. And he got him. Froze Allen with the 99 mile per hour fastball. Fourth strikeout for Syndergaard. Adam Frazier could use one of those base knocks of yours. He fouls it off. 
towards the A's bullpen. The one. Syndergaard, a former Mets starter, failed to play a couple of years uh, because of injuries. Goes to the Twins and is now their ace. And considered one of the best pitchers, starting pitchers, in the game of baseball now. Playing in his biggest game since 2015. Where that was the World Series with the Mets. They ended up losing. 0-2 to Frazier. A little high or inside, I don't know. 1-2. Up there in pitch count, we're definitely working him. Frazier gets a good piece of that for what he could, and Schwarber will put it away. 1-2, and uh, he couldn't do much of that pitch. So two down here in the third, and we're back to the top. Trey Turner steps up. Lined out the third in his last at bat. The pitch is fouled off. The A's have a new look team, definitely. Bringing in guys like Trey Turner, Aaron Judge, make a lot, make a big difference here. David Wiseman is new. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. Matt Chapman's been here for a while, and Adam Frazier is new. It's this team that held the West for so long this season, and eventually. Uh, Choked it away at the end, but who knows? We can make a postseason run. We could fall today. 3-2 now. Good changeup. I don't think that's what Trey was sitting on. 3-2, two, two down here in third. The pitch is ball four. Trey Turner will walk. And we know he can move. Wiseman steps up. Slide step it is a pitch out. 1-0. Very worried about him moving. He gets in scoring position. Any hit in the outfield, he's going to go home and probably score. Trey won't go this time. David Wiseman with a base hit. Ropes that one into left. Schwarber gets it in quickly, and we've got first and second with the judge coming up. Too focused on the runner. Gives him a pitch to hit. Wiseman doesn't miss it. Hits that ball harder than I've ever seen him hit a ball. Aaron Judge steps up. Two down here in the third. And he misses. 1-0. 22 pitches this inning. And you don't want to face Judge, but you also don't want to let Chapman up with bases loaded. So you just are in a pickle here. He's trying to pitch in perfect spots to Judge, but he's down 2-0. Judge, I'm sure, has the green light, but he will take ball three. And I'd still give him the green light here. Syndergaard struggling to find the zone. And ball four up top, so four straight to Judge. And up steps Matt Chapman with the bases loaded. Matt Chapman, 0 for 1 on the day. Hit the ball pretty well out to the warning track. And he swings a little late at a 100 mile per hour fastball. 0-1. Chapman hits it really well out to left, but Schwarber runs it down. And the Twins will just get out of that narrowly. That ball's hit hard. That ball's off the wall. You score three, probably. But the Twins hold it at two. Or at one. My bad. So it's still 1-0 Athletics as Chance takes the mound. For the four deep fly ball. No. Never mind. Straight away right. I thought that was crushed. One pitch, one out. That's a big power bat to get out of the way for his second at bat. It's only going to get probably four in the game. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Both 
teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Out in front of the slider. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight. Change up. Fell off. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And it's fouled away. I haven't used 12 6 much today. This is a change up. Won't work. Executed change up, especially one down in the zone. We'll try the 12 6 here. In that situation, you leave that good eye. Or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Good eye by Santander. Backdoor slider is outside. Three straight balls by chance. And he puts it on the ground. Chapman backhand fires to first and gets him by about seven steps. Two down. Taking no time to get him out there. Two down. A little outside. Two zero. Kike swings the ball three. You can just put the sinker I want. Should be fine on the ground to Trey Turner, and it is a 1 2 3 inning for chance. Well done, Trey. So into the bottom of the fourth we go Dickerson, Kepler, Loriano. How about another solo shot? Dickerson? Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, yeah, they only yeah. scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Thank you, Heidi. Well said, Heidi. And I agree. Only one run. It's not much to show for, but no Syndergaard's at 57 pitches through three innings. Their bullpen isn't as strong. It's their starting rotation, obviously. One down here. Pitch incoming. And it's 2-0. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2-0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. Too high. 2 when it's high. So Syndergaard's still struggling to find the zone. Great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't Takes on. Leak out over strike one. Three and one. Hey, usually the second you throw a strike and then walk him. We'll take that extra pitch. And that's fouled off. So 3-2, we've got a full count. Kepler on deck. Dickerson 3-2. Ropes it down the line again, and it's foul. Dickerson is on his stuff. But not that one on the ground. Poisson has it. Throws on to first. One down. So Max Kepler steps up. One oh. Just off and two oh. So Syndergaard has taken a long time to get into these accounts. He falls behind immediately, then has to work his way back in. It's not a recipe for success. On the ground and foul. Played by the ball boy. Nope. <laughs> right through the wickets. Two one. And fouled off. One run, two hits. So a 2-2 two, two count. And Kepler will take that. So we've got a full count again. This will be Syndergaard's 70th pitch of the inning. It's fouled off. There you go. If we can get to 80, man. <laughs> He'll be out by 5. But he got him with a sinker. He's way out in front for some reason. 
Fifth K of the day for Syndergaard and two down. Good curveball. Like to get a hit here so we can at least not start with Austin Allen next inning. Who did walk last time? I should give him some credit. 0-2. Ball one. The pitch by Syndergaard is low. So we have a 2-2 two -two count, two down. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. 2-2, two, two, and it's on the ground. Played, no, Poisson cannot get there, and it's a hit for Loriano. So we'll take that. It's a decent pitch. Loriano just gets a good piece of wood on it. On the ground, right through a five hole. So Austin Allen steps up. Two down, runner on. We've got to stop doing these two out rallies. we got to get him on early, then take advantage. Loriano, not too much of a threat to steal, I don't think. Well, he can run. He doesn't seem concerned with moving, especially not 2-0. Allen hits it pretty well, but... Manuel Margot gets under. It's a through four. Oakland still up 1-0. Into the fifth we go. Garver, Schwarber, and Drury do up. All right, I don't need copyright claims. Oh boy. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far, and he hmm. really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. With just one hit with runners in yeah. position in the game, you can understand why he feels that way. But he also says he likes the way his guys are responding to the adversity. It seems as though they're keeping their energy hmm. and mood up. So we'll see Interesting. coming through with some big hits as we go forward. They definitely haven't capitalized very well, and Chance usually isn't one to give many opportunities, so if they get it again, you know they will try to jump on it. Garver 0-2, fouls off the 12-6, was he late? He was, you're getting a four seam. That's a little too high. Shoot. Wanted that one to be good. It is shaved out to the edge of the dirt, but Wiseman chases it down. That would have been a tough first hit for him. Or for us. So Schwarber takes strike one. A lot of power, better versus righties, of course. Fouls off the changeup. He touches this, he's getting a slider. Not a good pitch. Hit pretty well, Dickerson. Has it out in left center. Bad pitch, but pull away. Two down. This is frustrating if you're a Twins fan. Drury is uh, not gotten a true at bat. He walked last time up. One plate appearance, no at bats. And he takes strike one there, 2 1. Roped foul, almost to double. Got a piece of that, dang. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this two, two, two down. Got him inside corner, 100 miles per hour for chance. And it's three up, three down. So into the bottom of the fifth we go. Nine, one, two, do up. Let's put something on the board. Come on, one run is just not enough. I'm sorry. This is going to be Syndergaard's close to last in last inning. 
Frazier is per first pitch swinging, 0-1. delivery and low on the sinker sunk a little too much got Jordan Blazovich and Paul Blackburn fun fact chances motion is Jordan Blazovich that's up there so 2-1 winner will move on to face Houston the ALDS 3-1. And the leadoff walk would be optimal. Takes the sinker in there. 3-2. Frazier actually ropes that ball, but Manuel Margot is there. One down. Dang, another full count, though. Trey Turner is 0 for 1 and walked in the third. And for his third at bat, he puts a jolt into this one out to right, and Anthony Santander has it. So we're definitely hitting the ball hard, just finding gloves here. David Wiseman steps up, takes a sinker in there. So we haven't worked him that much this inning to the point where he could throw a sixth. Drury has it, and that will be a 1-2-3 for the ace. So we are still at one nothing, heading into the back half of the game. Oh, man. Back to the top of the lineup for the Twins. He's one for two with a double. Thank you for that call. Chances pitch count is relatively low. 65 through 5 isn't bad. Traffic in motion, we might have something. Fouled away. 99 and fouled off. 12 6 hasn't gotten anybody today, and that's not the pitch we needed it to be. Judge chases it down, roped into right, but we'll take out number one. He will bunt. It is foul. That was a great bunt, though. Would have been close with Chapman's arm. Hassan fouls off the changeup. Oh, two up top. Barely. Good take. Hassan will see a slider now. On the ground, played by Turner on the short hop, and gets the speedy Poisson at first. So, two down, and three-hitter Luis Arise steps up. He has a hit in the inning, or in the game. A little single to right. In question if they should have tried to send Margot there. Way out. So 2 1. And we have a tough count to a good hitter. Up the middle, it will get through. First hit in a while for the Twins. And Sano will come up with the runner on. Wasn't a bad pitch. Sano's 0 for 2. Arise not fast. Good sinker. Fouled it off. Okay. So, 1-2. Chase this. Got him out in front. Pulled the string. Changeup gets Sino. Six straight innings. Scoreless for the Twins. And they might get in panic mode soon as we have our 3-4-5 to whoop Syndergaard still on the mound. He's tired. He's going to be missing spots. Let's hit him hard. Come on. Judge gets a hold of one. 
Into deep left, looking up, it is out of here. Aaron Judge, the first pitch he sees is gone. Let's go. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. And Oakland has moved out in front here, two to nothing. Pure power out of Aaron Judge. Just muscles it out. It's a good pitch, too, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. He left it up high. Judge hits it a mile in the air. And it gets over. So, Matt Chapman will step up. Up 2 nothing now. Surprise, they haven't gone to the pin yet. Chapman's hit two balls very hard today. He's going to hit another one hard, and it is just an unfortunate game for Matt Chapman. One down here on a line drive out. Alex Dickerson went deep in the second inning of this game, providing one of our two runs. So, 1-1. One, one. Right, 2-1. Two, two, one. One. Way out in front. So, a 2-2. Two, two. And Dickerson with a really ugly swing there. We'll go down on strikes. So Max Kepler steps up. He struck out twice today. And that's on the ground played by Kike Hernandez or Brandon Jury, right? Brandon Jury. What a play at first by Sano. One run on the judge bomb. Three innings left to go. Athletics lead 2-0. So Santander steps up. We want to keep our pitch count low because we want to throw the eighth, too. That's the goal here, is throw two more innings. It's a really good pitch. Changeup won't be chased. Good slider. Let's go. Eighth K of the day for Chance. One-one to Kike. He gets fanned. So one-two. You want one more? And he pops it up. Frazier will get there. Two down. So two down here in the seventh. Garver steps up. It's fouled off a bad pitch there. Chances 1-1 one, one is a good backdoor slider. He's way out in front. Let's see the change. Fouled off. Twelve sixes spiked. Garver gets fanned. Eight strikeouts. Oh, nine strikeouts for Chance through seven. Loriano, Allen, and Frazier do up seven, eight, nine. And it'll be Cody Stashak. He's had a pretty good year. 77 and two-thirds innings with a 3-2-4 ERA. Not much of a strikeout guy, but doesn't surrender many walks. 
pitch the contact type of guy. He'll just get you out. Tua. Outside, three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fast. So, a quick walk to Loriano, we would be happy with. To lay off and get himself into a three oh count. Three one. And it's three and one now. Pitch is in there. Three two. Loriano gets a good piece, but Margot will be there about 340 feet into the outfield. Probably a lot more than that, actually. I don't know. Austin Allen steps up. Roped. Hits the bullpen's mound and skips into the crowd. 0-1. And he didn't get a good piece of that one. Schwarber's under at two down here in the seventh. So Adam Frazier will step up. Hoping to get something out of this inning, maybe. Got him with the changeup. It's Randy Dobnak and Walker Downey. Bases are empty here with two men up and moving for the Twins. Up and moving for us. I don't know who that is. And he fouls this one off. It's like J.B. Wendelkin. And our lefty. I don't know. 0-2 oh, to Frazier. Fouled off. Wish there was an option just to watch like normal. You can once the hit is made, but you can't at this point. Frazier's 1-2 is not going to be made contact with. Good inning for, I forget his name, will face their 8-9-1 do up. There'll still be chance here. It's Kyle Schwarber, a two-run game. Change up. God, and with fastball. Big pitch there for Chance. We love seeing this playoff Chance. Chance up at 98 pitches. This is 99 and for a strike. Jury's 0 for 1. He walked. And there's 100. Chance is on a short leash here, you know. Big pitch coming here. Flown out to right. Judge is there and makes the play. Shallow right. So Manuel Margot has the hardest hit ball for the Twins all day and is in the first at bat of the game. He's 0 for 2 since then. He trails 0 2 really quickly here. See if we can fan him. Nope, not yet. Oh, I almost got so excited. <laughs> Pitch will be low. 1-2. Crowd on their feet, still sinker. On the ground, and it's not going to be played by chance, and it's going to be played by Frazier. Big time play up the middle. 
Oakland goes crazy for chances. Masterful performance here in the wild card. We've got our 1 2 3 to up all momentum points to the A's here. Be Walker Downey, who had a phenomenal season. He's been a really good arm for this uh, Twins team. Let's see who they threw. Cody Stashak is a 79. Walker Downey is a, a 76. Two seam change up slider splitter. He's only 22. Probably has good potential. And this, this year has shown a lot of him. So, be Trey Turner up at the plate. Weird motion for him. Taylor Rogers is up and moving. Slider at 81. Taylor Rogers with that filthy motion, we know. Right? There's like multiple Rogers. Trevor Rogers, Taylor Rogers. I don't know. I think that's him. 2-2 two, two now. Hopefully we don't have to see him because hopefully we can just hold in the night. Turner goes down on strikes. And now we have the uh, option... We have the choice, uh, Melvin does, of throwing Chance back on the mound or going to J.B. Wendelkem. So 1-1 one -one to Wiseman, who's 1-3 for three with a single on the day. He's going to foul that off. The one two to Wiseman. We'll get him to pop it up. Garver is under it. Just steps out of the batter circle and puts it away. So Judge steps up. He's one for two with a walk, and of course that solo shot in sixth. Giving us an extra run of insurance. The pitch. 1-0. Walker Downey's pitch is swung through. That's low, 2 1. And this one is over. 2 2. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right The here. pitch is roped, and Judge has a second hit today. So this inning isn't over. We might be able to tack on one more. That would be nice. It's, I believe, 2, 3, 4. No, I don't know who's due up for the Twins, actually. I think it's 2-3-4. 1-1. One, one. Judge, not too much of a threat to steal. He is fast, but... Pitch is swung through, so 2-2. Two, two. Judge leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. The 2-2 to Chapman is going to hit him. And now you bring up Alex Dickerson, who's made good contact with the ball today, including a homer. Missed a spot completely. Looks like he just released that pitch a little high. So Dickerson steps up with two on and two outs. Walker getting himself in a little bit of a jam. Now he's in a real big jam. It's 2 0. And oh, Dickerson was swinging. Thought he was sit. He was probably sitting fastball there. He's out in front of it. And the 2 1. He fouls it off. So down he fights back. 2 2, 2 down, 2 outs, and 2 nothing. Deuce has gone wild here in the bottom of the eighth. 
And he blows it by Dickerson. So Downey will do his job and hold it. Now, what will Bob Melvin go with here? Is Poisson or Eisen Sano 2 3 4 do up? It will be J.B. Wendelkin stepping on the mound. He's had a phenomenal year. Has not been good in save situations. 5 for 11. But we will trust him here to hold for the twin for the A's here. Two nothing lead. On the ground and foul. Maybe Keegan Aiken up? I don't know. O one to Poisson. The game is out of chances hands. That's outside. Ninety five. Infield playing straight up here. It's the twin shortstop. The pitch is hit on the ground. Played by Wiseman. No, he bobbles it. To toss. Will get him by half a step. One down. Scary spot right there. Chance did all he could do. A couple solo shots keep us out in front here. Arias has had a good day. He's two for three with two singles. And he will foul off the sinker. Wendelkin takes a deep breath. Sets and fires. It's like a breaking ball. It's the slurve on the inside part of the plate. 0-2. Needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality AB and start the line moving again. Need a base runner here, Arias 0 2. Will get fanned 95 miles per hour from Wendelkin. And we've got two down here in the night. One out remaining. Miguel Sano. Step up to the plate here. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Plenty of power in this bat. The solo shot will not win the game. Will not even tie it. Here's the first pitch. Miguel Sano. Oh one. Wendelkin looks comfortable on the mound. We've got a strong shift on Sano. One one. Into the dirt, in fact. Fouled off. And they're up now in Oakland. Just over thirty five thousand strong. One two up high. Oh. So a two 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 down. Big pitch to Sano. And he fouled it off. That's one you normally pop right up. Two out, nobody on. Final strike for the twins. And Wendelkin strikes him out. That's ball game. The twins go down and the A's will advance to the ALDS to face their division rivals, the Houston Astros. Woo! Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Big time win for Oakland. This was a game I was very scared for, and we end up coming out on top. You love to see it. Aaron Judge and Alex Dickerson go deep. Giving us the 2-0 victory. Chance Davis and J.B. Wendell can throw great games. Mainly Chance, obviously. J.B. came in big at the end. Gets the save, but our offense needs to find a way to get going soon. We go eight innings, three hits, a walk, and no earned runs. Syndergaard goes six, four hits, two walks, two earned runs, and six strikeouts for him. Chance has ten strikeouts. Wendell can two Ks and the save.
Judge was two for three with an RBI. Dickerson with the homer. And also Judge with the homer, of course. Oh. First playoff win in Chance's life, I guess. In Chance's career, we go get some more program points. We are now at 91%. And we get a gold perk. Congratulations. The Athletics have won the American League wild card and will now be taking on the Astros in the ALDS. We love to see that. We will get arm strength up to 36, stamina up to 44. Oh, never mind. Home runs per nine up to 44. And I think that says, yeah, slider break up to 43. We're going to lose some slider control. We might be an 88 now. I'm not sure. We're not. That's fine. And who won on the other side? It was Atlanta defeating Washington. Atlanta will face the Dodgers. Chicago will face uh, Philadelphia. It'll be Rays, White Sox. As, uh, that'll be Adam Turner in the other bracket. And then Oakland, Houston. We will be on the road. We will not throw game one. That will be Ryan Yarbrough. Neither will we throw game two. We will throw game four, probably three, I have to guess. Yes, it will, we will throw game three, no doubt, um, against Fran Valdez. So we will get to throw at home this series. As, uh, it'll be Yarbrough versus Lance McCullers and Jesus Lazardo versus Jose. Uh, I cannot pronounce his, last, pronounce his last name. Anyways, what a game for uh, the series. It was awesome. One of my favorites I've played all year. Chance dominated. We'd love to see him dominate against the Astros. Grab one of the three we need. So, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That is Chance Davis, episode 91 in the books.